oncology nurse. I've worked at a major teaching hospital in the Sacramento area for nine years. I had a patient that came to me and uh, she was coming in for just a standard procedure. Uh, I happened to look and see that this person was the same age as me. Um, and her mom wheeled her in and I could see she was very frail, very sick towards the end of her uh, life. And her mom, you know, when we're nurses, we're not just, um, we're not just administering a procedure, but we're also kind of um, some place where they can kind of vent and talk about what's going on for them, what's stressing them out. Um, and so she was really opening up to me about how um, stressed out she was about the co-pays for the medical supplies. Um, and in fact, she had some drains that were coming out of her lungs and her mom was like, uh, I can only afford to drain these once per day because they cost too much money to where um, we just couldn't afford it. So she basically had to watch her daughter to see how badly she could struggle to breathe before they would change that bag. It's something that as a mom you'd want to be able to provide and instead she was having to worry about how much those supplies were going to cost, the fact that her insurance was going to renew in a year, and that meant that she was going to have to start all those copays over again. So she was telling me she was starting to hoard supplies. The unspoken part of that discussion was that she was actually hoarding enough, I know, to gauge as to how much her daughter was going to need before she would die, because she knew it was coming. Even though they weren't ready, she knew. And I felt like this is such a cruel system to where a mom has to decide something like that. Um, and what kind of place is there where someone's deciding what price they're going to pay or char charge somebody uh, in order to be able to breathe. If you're paying into a system, you should be able to access the health care that you need and you should not be worrying about your daughter and, and her struggling to breathe in her last days. Uh, that's not a functional system in anyone's book.